Hey there, Johnny Daniel, independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! It is now 7.01 with the live. Thanks for joining me. I'm just getting things situated. Hope you're doing well. Alrighty, so for tonight, are we ready? <laughs> hey Iris, glad you made it, glad you're okay. So, alright, so for tonight, we have a few things. As you maybe know, I'm not sure. Um... We have tonight, we have, sorry, I'm getting a delivery right now. Um, <laughs> the world keeps turning regardless, right? So graduation is coming very, very, very shortly. You made this one already? Good. It has been going around. I just wanted to make sure that everybody's got something for graduation because it is coming next week. Um... I do have a set that's already pre-cut, so this will be fairly quick. Fairly. So, um, so let's see. You know what? I didn't put my prize and my, and my thing up. So let's do that while I'm waiting to see if anybody else comes on. All right, so we're going to do hashtag prize. Now, the club order bonus, this is not for team because I do a quarterly gift for them instead. This is for crafters that order. Hey, Pam. Well, hey, Barbara. Um, my club bonus is for people that are ordering that are not team. Uh, let's see, PJ4. So club just changed over, just FYI, because it is the first, right? Woo. It is flying by. <laughs> so club or the, hey, Lise, how are you? Um, you made this, oh, you made the live. I thought you meant you made the card. Got it. <laughs> so um, the code for the new club is Q R P as in Paul E R P J four. So there you go. Hey Denise, how are you? Um, so these cards that I'm making will be available for purchase for five bucks, but if you want to make them, here you go, right? So for tonight, the question of the day. The prize for tonight is your choice of, not both, but your choice of Island Vibes or Darling Donkeys. So, there you go. Hello, Miss Carol. Sorry about 5.30. Oh, it's on the replay. You're good. Go catch it after this. So, choice for tonight, Darling Donkeys or Island Vibes. So, we will get there. But the question of the day for today is, what other occasions would you use this card for? Let me show you the finished card. Hold on. And we're going to do an envelope, too. So there you go. Okay? It's a huge monster envelope, but... So what else could you use this shape of card for? Oh, and there's a gift card pocket down here, too. So what else could you use this for? I'm like, anything that's kind of a square, right? So, you could make it a package, and you could do it for Christmas, you could do it for a birthday, any kind of gift, right? It doesn't have to be graduation, because I know there's very few of you that actually have graduation going on right now. But, because there's a few of you, here we go. And we're going to make an envelope for it. Okay, that is the big difference because I couldn't find anywhere that had an envelope for it. So, 
that's what we're doing tonight. Alrighty, so paper-wise, let's get things going. Alright, this is for the envelope. I gotta have some room here. <laughs> so, um, let me get my binder because I actually have a diagram I want you guys to screenshot. Yes, here's all the, whew, yeah, but here's the diagram. No, I did not do this from scratch. It could be a home plate. Yeah, definitely. Hey, Gina, I figured, honey, I figured you got a lot going on. She's moving today, so it's what it is. All right, so here is the template. I'm going to get it lined up zoomed in as much as I can for you guys. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to, there's a little bit of a delay. So I'm like, what's the price of it? I will get to that. I've already done it, but I will say it again in a minute. Okay. All right. So let's get this down here. Let me put it down and see if that's better. So you are going to want to screenshot this or find this on Pinterest, but screenshot this because I could not have done this better. I found this off of Pinterest and I'm sorry, I don't remember who, but there's about three or four different ones that were great that were about the same. So um, dash line on here is a score line. Solid line is a cut line. Scribble is cut away and toss it. Mountain fold is M. Valley fold is V. And I'll explain as we go. Okay. The only thing is to note, okay, um, the squares for the white are five inches and it's not two and a quarter, it's two and a half. Otherwise it's going to be wonky. So make sure you put two and a half down here. I've scribbled it, but exactly. So, um, so there you go. Okay. Does everybody have the screenshot? Give me a thumbs up if you do because this is the important part. <laughs> okay. Am I good? I wanna make sure you guys have it. Good, good, good. Anybody? There we go. All right. So with that being said, I already have it pre-cut and pre-ready to go because I figured you guys have seen this because it's been all over the place and I'm like, I just had to do it so I could say I did it, right? So we're going to go through how to cut and what to do, but I already have it done so that way it didn't take as much time and we're going to do an envelope as well. So um, to reiterate, for those of you that came in a couple minutes behind, no problem. Um, this is the club bonus, club order bonus code for June 1st through 15th, because today is the first, oh my gosh. This is for crafters, not my team, because I do a quarterly um, prize for you guys. So, question of the day, Gina, hashtag prize, space your response. What other occasion would you use this card for? And you can include colors as well if you would like. It's just up to you on how long you want that answer to be. So, okay, let's get it together. Oh, and the prize is your choice of donkeys, darling donkeys or island vibes. So there you go. All right, or not both. So. Um, and that'll be mailed off to you. So, um, the black is what I'm calling our base. Okay. The basic black is cut at 11 by five and a half. And then on the 11 inch side scored at five and a half and eight and a quarter. Okay. This is all on that diagram, but I want to talk through it. Okay. Now, as you're doing this, so you've scored and you've scored, right? Okay, now you're going to measure up two and three quarters, okay, on both sides. 
and then you're gonna take your trimmer or your scoring scoring board scoreboard and you're gonna go from your top corner after you've cut off your triangles with your midpoint you're going to go from your top corner and you're gonna go down to that two and three quarters and you're gonna go from your top corner and you're gonna go down to the two and three quarters okay now the template says blue because the lady that did it had done a royal blue but I did this because 29 I don't know my dear I don't know why you have a major delay who knows so I did this because you have um, around here we have the 29 palms wildcats and their colors are green white and black specifically this green though so okay that's the why so Serena if you're on let me know <laughs> exactly go wildcats even though my daughter graduated from Yucca so um so there you go okay so with the on the template it says blue squares but we are going to say green right okay so for this one and I'm looking I'm going what so for this one these both squares are cut at five and a quarter okay and then you mark it two and five eighths two and five eighths two and five eighths and then you cut from point to point and this fits in here but I'm gonna flip this over because I don't want my pencil lines to show instead of having to erase okay then we're gonna grab our other okay our other <laughs> piece five and a quarter and we're gonna two and five eighths two and five eighths two and five eighths two and five eighths and we're gonna cut now I had to draw lines of where I was gonna cut because I got lost in turning it because it started to look different and I was like, where am I supposed to cut? So I actually draw, drew very light lines across the entire thing so I knew to keep cutting. And then at the end when you're done and you have the littler square, you cut across, okay? So that's these two triangles. And then you got two smaller ones, okay? then you have white and these are the five inch and you mark it two and a half and you're going to cut down and cut down okay and then you're going to grab the other one and do just like our other one and mark 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 at two and a half and then we're going to cut 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 Two of them we're not gonna use, two of them we are gonna use, and then you're gonna cut through the middle, and that's that. And here's the why behind this. Because we don't want blank spaces. We want it to look all finished, okay? So that's the why. Then, last but not least, <laughs> We're gonna grab our two strips and these strips are gonna become our pieces for our pocket. If you wanna do them a tiny bit wider, you can, okay? But that's what it is. And I'm gonna teach you how to make the tassel and we're gonna do the envelope, which is why I had stuff pre-cut because I figured it would take too long otherwise. <laughs> We'd be here till like nine o'clock. So, um, I'm gonna get to gluing some pieces in. First, we're gonna do some stamping. And it'll just be fine, no problems. <laughs> so I've got my shaded spruce. This is the color of the day. We're gonna be doing congratulations. This is in Peaceful Moments stamp set. I need a block. So we're gonna grab here. Peaceful Moments stamp set, and these are the moments you'll look back with joy. That's what I'm choosing, but you can do wishing every happiness this special day will bring. I mean, it's just up to you on what you do, okay? Um, let me get a block, another one. So we're gonna stick these down. These are the only two pieces that we're going to stamp, and the rest, is onwards and upwards okay so 
this little piece here all right miss gina nope not graduation what other occasions i've already taken graduation what other occasions would you make this card for other not graduation my dear so think about other occasions that you could use this card for doesn't have to have a grad cap on it so alrighty so let's see let's put this back because if you looked at my table you would understand why I say that it's um a little bit messy <laughs> so now we're gonna stamp our these are the moments we'll look back with joy and you're gonna go as high as you possibly can without going over. Oh, I did that with the pencil lines though, so I'm gonna flip and it was a little crooked, so it's okay. So we're gonna go here and hopefully this one will be better. They're both crooked, but differently, so it's okay. Okay, so I'm gonna close this before I get anything in it because that would be my luck. And are we set? Are we ready? Yes. <laughs> so. Now we're going to piece and part everything together. So we're grabbing our piece. Make sure if you have pencil lines, you are putting them towards the back, obviously. And this should mat in here just perfectly. Okay. And then which side? Hmm, the non-pencil line side. So here we go. So this goes here, okay, hopefully straight, it's a little crooked, but it will be okay, <laughs> okay, all right, so now pieces and parts and pieces and parts, right, so this is going to go here, oh, my green goes first, hold on, I have to find my green, okay, so my green goes first, if you want to dry fit everything first and what I mean by that is without glue because if you are too close to the score lines it will crease and it will not look good so you might have to just shave off just a touch is my point okay so there's that then this guy goes up here I liked this version the best because I thought it looked the most finished. Oh, I have pencil. I didn't pay attention. Okay. And I had pencil down here. And I had pencil down here. Okay. Now it's perfect. <laughs> okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm grabbing my white and that's going to go over. You can decorate this as well, but I just liked the fact that it looked more finished. All right, so there's that one. All right, Miss Gina, hashtag prize, my dear. <laughs> so there you go. You already have both of the stamp sets. All right, Miss Lease, no problem, honey. Unless you want them for gifts for somebody, I don't know. So, all right, so now we're going to set in here and I'm missing a couple I'm like where are they hmm I don't know I might leave a couple blank because I'm like where did they go I have no idea so you will put <laughs> down there I don't know what happened but I will fill those in later so it is what it is. Some days, it's what happens. So there's that. And then this one is going to go here, and that should just mat in there. So there's that. Okay. So far, so good. Yes. 
<laughs> okay, now this one, because it's a gift card pocket, you don't wanna glue across the top. You wanna to glue side, side, and on the bottom, and that's it, okay? So I'm gonna do just barely along the bottom here, and I'm gonna do the sides. If you wanted to do a notch, you could do that. It's just up to you on what you do. So I'm putting this to mat over. So there's that. And then I've got my congratulations. And that can be glued all the way across because it's only the green that is actually the pocket. Now, here's a tip for you. Grab your bone folder and run it through there twist it a little bit and here's why so when you're tucking that in it actually goes in okay um, it's a little too tight otherwise so you want to do that okay so this is finished minus those two triangles but hey it is what it is so we've got that going on okay now I'm going to show you how to do the cap all right so I need my scrap of black and I'm like, I bought a one inch punch because I was mad we didn't have it anymore. Where did I put it? Okay. Yes, really. <laughs> so I'm going to do two and I'll explain why in just a second. Okay. Forgive the non stamping up, but we don't have a one inch punch right now. So, all right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab here and I'm gonna grab the, oh, I'm crooked, sorry guys. Um, I'm gonna grab here and I'm gonna grab my take your pick tool and I'm gonna grab my spongy mat so I don't get a hole all the way through. Where's my mat? There we go. Old mouse pad works, magazine works, you know, all that kind of stuff, right? So I'm gonna grab here and I'm grabbing here and I'm gonna grab and do everything at the same time. That way I know it all lines up. So I'm grabbing my take your pick tool. Oh, that's not centered. I'm eyeballing, if you wanna measure, go for it. So I am going and I am just pushing through. So you wanna get all the way through. So I'm gonna make sure, yes. So that's done. Okay. All right. So this can go away. All right. And I'm looking for my brads and I'm like, where did they go? <laughs> I had them out, I really did. Uh oh, all right, hold on. I put them away by accident when I was cleaning, not good. All right, so now I'm going to grab my twine and whatever color your tassel is. I um, found that most of them were black, but, and for me it's three fingers. So you're gonna start at the bottom of the pile and you're gonna go around and you're gonna go around about four, five, six times, okay? And then I'm gonna cut a little extra because I want that other piece to come down, okay? Now I gotta hold this and kind of make it all even and pretty, okay? And now, this is when you wish you had a third hand, but if you kind of twist it and make it work, and you're gonna grab and you're gonna, about six, seven inches, enough so you can maneuver. And this is a, what I'm gonna call a faux tassel, okay? So now, I knot this and knots that piece that goes across the top on the top third quarter kind of thing. I want it a little higher. 
and pull it super tight. And then I'm going to knot again. Hopefully, if my fingers will work. Okay, and that is my tassel. So we're going to grab here and I'm going to cut these ends off and then I'm going to cut all my loops and all my loops are going to make this look like a tassel. Uh, I got a couple loops I didn't find so just cut until you get all your loops done. So there's that. Okay, so that's my tassel. Hopefully it looks like a tassel. You just got to practice, my dear. That's all there is to it, I promise. You can use as a square field of flowers. Yeah, you really can. So, all right, so now what I'm going to do, okay, is this is the cap. This is going to go like this, right? Why do I have two circles? Because I want my tassel to go in between. On the original one, I only did one circle and I put a glue dot and I hoped and prayed it stayed and all that. But if you do kind of a post, so it swings on the post, it's a little bit better and you might want to make it longer, you know, all that fun stuff. But in the meantime, we're going to glue the cap together because you don't want it with just a brad. You didn't, you don't need it swinging, right? <laughs> so, so what I'm going to do is I'm putting this fairly inside because I don't want it to be seen. So normally I would put it more like quarter inch, but I'm doing like a half inch because I don't want anybody to see it. Okay. And get one more border here. So I've got, you know, don't waste, right? We got this. Might as well use it, right? So we've got that. Okay, so now I'm going to pull off, pull off. All right, I got too many things in my fingers. There we go. Pull off and pull off. Okay. And then we're going to stick this right on top here. You want that depth so it looks more real, I guess you would say. So now we're going to glue dot this guy down. Where's my glue dots? And my snips. So we're going to grab a couple glue dots. maybe and I'm gonna glue this guy down now I want the holes to match that's the whole point right so there's my one okay now I'm gonna grab my brad whether you want a circle whether you want it doesn't matter okay you pick and you're gonna grab for me the loosest one the one that's a maybe a tiny bit longer you know up to you right Okay, so we're going to do that and then we're going to put this on top at the same time. I know, crazy, right? But this is hard to do on camera. So we're going to thread this through. And of course, I picked one that's bent, right? So we're going to thread this through. And then we're going to thread this through the loop. So that way our tassel doesn't have to be glued down. And then I'm gonna hopefully get this to go through the hole. My goodness, it's hard to see. And it's bending, of course, right? So. a Little bit tough to get through, but it, it works. Okay, so there's my I don't want that to go up my finger now. Okay, so there's my 
my tassel. That should have been tucked under, but hey, when you have time, you can tuck it under, but you understand. Okay, whatever. You get the idea. Okay. So then we grab here and we close this down and this is going to go right like that. So I'm going to grab here and I'm going to go one, two, three, and four. You can use glue dots instead. You can use tear and tape instead. You could do all kinds of things. It's just up to you on what you decide. This goes like this. Oh, wait. <laughs> I did it totally backwards. This goes like this with the tassel. Oh my gosh. Sorry about that. So there is the card with the pocket. Now let's do the envelope. Okay. So how do we do this? So Stampin' Up! used to have these, but we don't have them anymore. So that's how it's going to be. Um... So you can get this at any other craft store, but it's called an envelope punch board. Now, if you want to make it from scratch, you can do that. And there's plenty of um, tips on Pinterest on how to do that. But for me, I have it, so I'm going to use it, right? So the envelope punch board, I'm just capping a few things that I don't want to go crazy, okay? So the envelope punch board, you got to measure the card first. And because it's thick, I want to add almost a half inch to it. So this is going to be, let's get a pen, six. It measures at five and a half, but I'm going to go six. Okay. And then we've got this grid line here. So seven. So I'm going to say seven and a half because I'd rather have room than it not fit. Okay. So six by seven and a half. So we grab our trusty board here and pull my knife out first. All right, so six by seven and a half means I have to cut my paper at 10 and three quarters, okay? So this is when that solid um, cardstock comes in handy that's 12 by 12, okay? Gotta pull the arm out. So we're looking at 10 and three quarters. Ten and three quarters. Okay. Cut that off. Use that for whatever you need to. And then we're going to do ten and three quarters. Okay. That's all you need for the trimmer. The rest is all on that board. So. Alright. So now... 10 and three quarters we've done. So let's look at the instructions, shall we? Select the card size. We did that. Trim it to the right size. We did 10 and three quarters. Align the left edge to the score line measurement. So 10 and three quarters, four and seven eighths. So we're gonna go four and seven eighths. This has the punch already in it for the notch, which is amazing. And then we've got a score line here that we go down. Okay, it's not going to go all the way, but it's okay. Now you're going to go counterclockwise or to the left. And then this little tail thing here, that's going to line up with your score line. You're going to punch again and you're going to go. Okay, and then you're going to turn and you're going to line up your score line. And you're going to punch again and you're going to go. And then last time, you're going to line up your score line. You're going to punch and you're going to go. I love this for oversized cards. Okay. Then I'm going to figure out what is my top. Well, that's a tall and skinny. So I want tall and skinny up there. And what I'm going to do is flip this in here and there's a corner rounder up there. That's my top, shall we say. Okay. Of my envelope. All right, so I need to get back centered. Sorry, I've been, I've been doing. <laughs> so this is my top. These are my two sides. If you need a bone folder, you can do that. 
and then this comes up like this. Now, I do not like this edge showing, so I'm actually gonna trim some of this off, okay? Because I just don't like it, flat out. And that's all there is to it. So, let's let's see how much is showing. Okay, almost center line there. So, let's grab a pencil, huh? So, I'm going to trim here on that because I just I flat out just don't like that little tail thing showing so if I unfold all this I'll be able to put this in and we can line up here with the line on here and make sure it's halfway straight and then just cut off that edge okay no, I don't know the measurement for that, but you hear me. So this was the top, okay? So if I go like this, I go like this, and I go like this, look how clean that looks now. I love it. Okay, so grab my tear and tape. Hi, Serene, how are you? I had you in mind for this. <laughs> so it's available for purchase if you don't wanna make it, my dear. I actually had you in mind <laughs> and it's got a gift card pocket so you know it, it's just made for you it's that's all there is to it so and it's got the right colors you know all that fun stuff so always thinking about you my dear <laughs> all right so now what I'm gonna do is I'm putting my tear and tape up up my edges Taking that little bit off. And then that's gonna go like that. So we're gonna do that. And that's gonna tack down quite quite nicely because there's a little bit of overlap with that tear tape, tear and tape. All right, so Miss Serene, since you came in late. Hashtag prize. What other occasion would you use this card for? You cannot say graduation because I already got that one. <laughs> so there is the envelope. And then to finish it so you can glue it shut, you're going to put some tear and tape here. And you're going to do some tear and tape here. And I'm not gonna peel that right now, but that will close that flap, okay? So let's make sure it fits. Let's make sure this fits. My gift card pocket here and all that fun stuff. So, perfect. And then that'll close just like that. Love it! Yay! So, that is for tonight. Next week actually is Tara's birthday, even though she'll be on the road. And I'm going to show you how to do a money pocket, long, almost pull out bookmark kind of thing. Why am I gonna do that? Because for those of you that are going to a graduation party that weekend and don't know what to do, there you go. Okay, that's the reason why. So, I'm gonna get on here and get into my name picker thing. So, make sure while I'm doing this, you do hashtag prize. Oh, you can see my ring light so nicely, can't you? So make sure you get on and do hashtag prize and what other occasion would you make that card for besides graduation? Besides, besides. So, and then you're gonna have your choice. You're gonna have your choice of either of the stamp sets. So, let's go through. Oh, for heaven's sakes, it stopped scrolling all of a sudden, so. All right, so we've got Miss Pam on there. We've got 
<laughs> Thanks, Lisa. I already have the stamp sets. I got you, baby. So I've got Pam. Barb's not playing because she already has them too. So I've got Pam, Gina, and Iris. Pam. Uh. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Typing sideways is hard. <laughs> Pam, Gina, and Iris. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Oh you should see me going sideways. It's pro it's actually pretty funny. So birthday card, make it look like present box. Yep. Change the cone to hat, maybe. Yep, absolutely. And serene. Okay. Serena. Okay. So I've got Pam, Gina, Iris, and Serena. I have a couple that said they already have the stamp set, so they're not playing. <laughs> you hope you win. Well, if not, you can come to any of the farmer's markets. I do believe I still have a set for sale as well. So there you go. And I thought you already had them, but I don't know. Alrighty. So let's see here. All right. Miss Cheryl's not on. I don't have my drum roll tonight. That's what I'm missing. No drum roll. Oh, well. <laughs> there you go. There's your drum roll. All right. So I have one name to pick. And Miss Serena, you are the winner for tonight. I love my random picker thing. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So, so I, I have already been told that you um, want the jackasses. So, <laughs> Miss Serene, just tell me you're still present and let me know that you, that this is in fact the set that you want. So say yes and yes, and we're good. So like I said, next week will be a pull out money pouch kind of thing. And I hope you join me. <laughs> well, give a look and let me know, okay, what you would like. So it's, it's this or this. So, so let me know, like tonight, throw me a quick text and we'll be good before I, you know, Put it out in the box okay so let me know give me a text let me know what you want and follow me stampingwithjohnny.com have a great evening and i will hopefully see you at the market on saturday if you're local here have a great evening talk to you soon bye bye <laughs>